Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. No, you don't need to suit my chest. So, I was banned from another group today, and I lost another friend, and I'm going to discuss that quickly. Now, Gigi Bowman, you're running for office. You're associating yourself with Christopher Cantwell, Ian Bernard, Mark Edgington, etc. You're associating yourself with people who keep track of what people say and do. They keep a record. They have a record of the things I've said and done. I mean, going back three or four or five years. They lie about people. They, they see one of the things they've accused us of is making fake profiles on various websites and pages and stuff, which we haven't done. What? On Free Keen. Oh, yeah, on Free Keen. They've, they've claimed that. And they've claimed we've done it on Free Keen. We haven't done that. Um, they harass the meter maids, yell at them, follow them, almost trip them, almost knock them down. That's not good activism. That's harassment and bullying. Christopher Cantwell is a very violent person, and he advocates going out there and, and actually attacking people when they haven't done anything to you. He's not talking about self-defense. He's talking about actually going out there and attacking people. He's talking about going out there and killing people. Murdering people. He's not talking about self-defense. I have no problems with self-defense. But he has, has stated, you know, just go out there and kill the cops. And go out there and kill bureaucrats. This is the kind of guy you're associating yourself with. Ann Bernard, 33 years old, sleeping with a 16-year-old. He advocates, or he, he uh, advocates pedophilia. He says five-year-olds can make a, um informed, conscious decision to have sexual relations with an adult you know and these people say well it's wrong for the government to keep track of what we do and say yet they do it hypocrites hypocrites um, I, I, I'm not sure how much more I need to say I mean you know uh, they hate me but they hate the truth uh, they lie about people. They've said things about me. Hey, hey. Hey. You too. John, leave her alone. Uh, they've, sorry, that was a cat fight, literally. Um, they, uh, they've accused me of being a pedophile. Yeah, I've never had desires or relations with a child, yet look at what Ian's doing. He's 33 years old. And he's sleeping with a 16-year-old. I don't care if the law says a 16-year-old in this state is of legal age. It's A 16-year-old is still a child, especially with a 33-year-old. And he started working on her when she was 14. You want to block and delete me and all that, that's great. But what do you think people are going to think? When they find out the kind, what these people are really like that you are associating yourself with. What do you think? Do you think you're going to get much support? We have a lot of true conservatives here in New Cary, formerly New Hampshire. Not neocons, but people who truly believe in liberty. But are of a more, more of a conservative mindset, libertarian mindset. But not the mindset, the people in Free Keen are not libertarians. Okay? A true libertarian is not going to harass and lie about you and, and things like that. Uh, a true libertarian is not going to keep track of what you say and do. Uh, so, you know, you're running for office. And you're going to lose a lot of support when people find out what kind of people you're associating yourself with.
How about that? I know I'm I'm on Cantwell's uh, hit list now, and he's going to go after me for a while until he gets tired of it, because I'm not going to respond to the idiot. But um, you know the way you deal with bullies, there there are two primary ways you deal with bullies, like the <clears throat> idiots and king. You either stand up to them, which I've done, and they don't like it, or you just ignore them, which I've done at times as well. And um, Gigi Bowman, you're you're probably not going to win any elected office as soon as people find out what what kind of people you're associating yourselves with yourself with. People are going to run. They don't want anything to do with bullies. We already have bullies in the government. Why do we need more? Uh, I don't think you're a bully, but you're associating yourself yourself with those types of people. You now, uh, Ian Bernard, A.K.A. Ian Freeman, he um, he says that there's some minister around here that that lies and cheats and steals. Well, the reason he says that is because that minister called Ian on his BS. So Ian had to make up a story about it. What about Mark Edgington, a.k.a. Mark Edge? He's a convicted murderer. Are you aware of that? He's a convicted murderer. And I saw a post that he made on some channel or so cha some site. He had no compassion for the family. And he said, well, I hope the families learn to live with their loss. But he didn't say, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. He just made excuses and made that comment. You have people in Keene who pull guns on people, who pull knives on people, who beat, kick, and choke people. That's the kind of people you're associating yourself with. Yourself with. You're definitely not going to get a vote from me. As long as you associate yourself with people like that, you're never going to get my support. And there are a lot of other people who, whose support you're not going to get. You know, these people in Keene and Cantwell as well, they've taken a lesson from Goebbels. Keep lying. Just keep telling lies. And, you know, people will eventually believe the lies, no matter how big the lie is no matter how outrageous it is, no matter how untrue it is, i.e. a lie. That's another reason I call these people in Keen brown shirts. And Cantwell is a brown shirt. He has a bunch of followers. Some of these people claim to be anarchists. Yet, they're following Ian. They're following Cantwell. They're not thinking for themselves. I can, I can take you out there and, and show you how they're, just, they're following orders. They literally will follow orders. Yet yeah, they think they're thinking for themselves. When you're associating yourself with a pedophile.